Well, Trevor, I mean, it's it's finally here, week one, 2024 NFL, or CFL season. How's it feel? Uh, ready to rock. We're just we're just excited. Uh, you know, had a great week of practice, but the preparation's not done yet. We're gonna just continue to kind of stack bricks day by day, moment by moment, and uh, get ready for the game on Saturday. You said earlier, since coming back from the injury, more gratitude to be out playing. Do you still does it still that feeling right now? Absolutely. Uh, but make no mistake, I'm not just happy to be here. Uh, We've got bigger fish to fry than just me being back and playing. Uh, my mind has shifted from, you know, getting back to play to, to that's that's long in the past. Uh, so yeah, I'm very very happy, grateful, super super grateful, and very much gratitude every day. But uh, yeah, to to say that I'm just happy to be here, we got we got some big fish to fry. Yeah, for piggybacking on that, you mentioned on social on Instagram, I think the other day that you were violently motivated heading into this season. I've never heard that term before. Would you? To yeah, just I mean, it's uh, it's you don't get opportunities uh, every day, and the fact that you know what happened to me at my age, you know that I was afforded another opportunity, um, you know I'm just viciously motivated, ready viciously. to sorry, ready. No, 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 no. It's <laughs> it's very very much so, just the feeling, and um, you know just the full throttle, you know, every day, and so you know every day is a life of its own, and. Uh, there's there's no difference between a meeting, practice, game. It's all going to be you know with the same intention of you know getting better and trying to dominate. It's, it's a very Chris Jones week one defense with a lot of new faces out there. As a quarterback, does that affect you at all? Because you might not have seen these guys before. You know that Chris Jones is going to have great athletes and uh, they can play football. He's he's you know very very hard worker. You know finding that talent. You know he's you know accredited you know with quite a few times of getting elite defensive ends that didn't quite play that position. And you know, you know he's got a, a good eye for that stuff. And uh, you know he's always going to him and uh, Shiver is going to be boiling up some new coverages and things for you to see. So we know we're going to get looks that we haven't seen on film. Um, but obviously, you know, that's just how pro football goes. And so we'll be ready to rock and uh, we'll go out and just execute our offense the best of our ability. Is it an advantage either way that Jason Shivers was the DC here while you were here and you went against the Shivers defense or, or no? No, I mean, by the time you've been in this league, I mean, I've played enough against almost every coordinator that, you know, it's almost like I've seen them a lot. But, uh, you know, like I said, Shivers does a tremendous job and uh, he does a great job of fit him and Marcus. They do a great job of fitting their personnel to, you know, the way they play their coverages and their, their football junkies. And I know they're going to have some new stuff for us and things we haven't seen before. And uh, at the same time, it's it's pro football, though. And, you know, we're going to do the same thing. So we're ready to roll. Do you have any history with McLeod Bethel Thompson? He's back in the league after spending a year away in a different one. Yeah, I played in, uh, with him. I was actually his teammate in the United Football League in 2011 for the Sacramento Mountain Lions, uh, <laughs> believe it or not. And so uh, this guy came in late in camp. And I'm like, who is this guy just spinning the laces off the ball? And uh, it was it was fun. I got to be teammates with him for that year. Well, what's he kind of bring to a team, and how how's he grown since you since 2011? There? I've, I've I've really talked to McLeod very much, okay. uh, but obviously you know we won a great cup in 2022, and uh, I know people rave about you know him as a, as a person and a leader, and um, you know I can I can attest that he's a good guy, and so that's uh, but uh, him and I don't speak very often, but obviously I have a high respect for him. The year after the Mountain Lions come to the Canadian Football League, and Chris Jones is an ally. What was it like? Uh, being introduced to him and practicing against his defense as, as a first-year player. Yeah, that's where I kind of realized how much that guy loves football. You know, it was all football all day. And, you know, like I said, him finding talent, he was involved uh, with finding talent there in Toronto. And we always had dudes. And it was just amazing to see, you know, like Marcus Ball. And, you know, he's got in the Dexter McCoyles. And he sent a lot of guys back to the NFL because he just finds these, you know, avatars and these aliens that can really ball. And so we know they're going to have a lot of talent. But uh, we're ready to rock, too. How did it help you as a quarterback, especially in the early stages up here, going against that defense in practice as far as just seeing what they can throw at you? Yeah, just different looks every week. Um, and, you know, but at the same time, you know, you got to trust your feet, trust your progression, listen to your uh, feet. Listen to your feet, trust your eyes, and let it rip, man. And that's really what it's about. But uh, yeah, just every coordinator you play against is going to bring different looks and uh, give you different things to grow from, grow and learn from. You talked about anticipating the unknown from the Chris Jones defense, and the word you just used was trust. How much trust do you have to have in your playbook and the calls that you're going to get from new offensive coordinator Mark Mueller? Oh, it's a great question, and uh, this is a lot of trust. I feel like we have answers, and uh, that's all you can ask for as a, as a quarterback is to when you approach the line of scrimmage to have answers for what they're doing. And to me, uh, we're, we've prepared to, for contingencies. But again, we know where they're going to bring looks that we haven't seen before, but, but that's OK. And uh, you know, we're going to bring looks that they haven't seen before. That's how pro football is. And so uh, we'll go out there, tee it up, and, and let it fly. But uh, we're prepared for the unknown, um, just like I know they are too. And so but at the end of the day, teams are what they are. You, if, if you don't have a backbone as to what you like to do in games and you have no identity, and uh, Chris Jones, Jason Chivers, those guys are going to have an identity on defense. 
there's a twinkle in your eye that when you talk a little bit about, hey, they're going to show me things that we haven't seen and finding that answer. Does that intrigue you? Does that uh, always? What, what gives you that emotion or what emotion you both? Yeah, that's part of the fun of football. If you if you knew everything was choreographed and planned, then it wouldn't be quite as fun. And so uh, the the unknown is really kind of the fun part about it. And so the blitzes that we haven't seen before on film, the the looks that we haven't seen before, and being able to read and react, and that's really what it's about. And that's why we uh, do what we do. What's the vibe like around week one? Everybody's 0-0. Yeah. I think everybody across the league, you know, feels good about their personnel, their team. You know, they just made final cuts, and we have the team we want. And so everybody across the league feels like this is our year. We're going to do it. We're going to be, you know, the team that's the snake in the grass, or we're the team that nobody expects to win. Or if, if you know you're a hyped up team, you're like this is our year. We've got everything here. We've got what we want. And so optimism is going to be high in every city. Uh, but to me, it's just about being out, going out there to perform, and the lights turn on. Trevor, you're 116 yards shy of 30,000, fewer than 20 quarterbacks in CFL history have reached mm. that milestone. What, if anything, does that mean to you? It's incredible. You know, it's praise Jesus that I've been able to play play this amount of time and have the coaches and teammates that I've had and uh, be able to be close to something like that. It's not something I ever really set out to do. Uh, obviously, it's really cool, but it's really just a testament to my coaches and teammates I've had in the past. Do you have a favorite? Yard or series of yards over the almost 30,000? Maybe a favorite, uh, favorite completion or a more memorable completion? It's a good question. Probably the playoff ones, but I know they don't count. So. <laughs> but there's not like a pass that sticks out to you that's like highlight. No, not really. Um, I mean, automatically you just think of like your first touchdown or your first whatever. I think I threw my first touchdown to Darvin Adams. And so uh, I let him keep the ball, though, unfortunately. So. <laughs> do, you, do you watch the game tonight, week one? Of course. Of course, if I ever get an opportunity, I'm always watching CFL. Perfect. Thanks, Thank you. Thanks, Sorry for getting that word wrong. <laughs>